This is quite unusual. Uh, it's a good option to take one to bits. I'm not sure what we're going to find inside, but we'll find out when I take it to bits. This is an OLED display, and it's from uh, one of our follow spot controllers because during some really mega inclement weather, it managed the rain managed to get horizontal underneath and uh, affected two of the units. And we found that uh, they wanted us originally to send the units back to America to get fixed, and we decided, well, this is a this looks like a standard display. We looked up the number; it is a standard display. We ordered them and got them in a few days, fitted them, and bingo, off we go again. So uh, they they worked. So um, let's take this one to bits and see what's inside. I'm noting for a start that the display has this bit of capped on tape down here and under that is a strange, I'm not sure what that is, it looks like a piece of glass, I'm guessing it's probably circuitry mounted on glass, um, that's, I'm not sure even how it's connected onto that, I really don't know what that is. Is it active circuitry, that little glass strip? Quite unusual. Uh, the display uh, ribbon is physically soldered onto the circuit board, so not really serviceable from that aspect. But having said that, the display was only about £20, so it doesn't really matter. So let's uh, take this off and see what's underneath. So off comes the metal bezel. And it's a piece of glass, by the look of it with the metalized film in the back. Not really a lot to see in here at all, is there? Actually, is that two pieces of glass? I think it is. I think it's two layers of glass with the display sandwiched in between. I can see now where water has got in and it's left a sort of like a, a sort of residue underneath, but I don't know if that would have affected the display other than the fact it was affecting these terminals here. Now it's making me want to try the display again, but that's probably a bad idea. And we've got the replacement, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I might uh, consider that with the future one actually, seeing if it just needs cleaned under here. I'm not sure how that would affect it, since most of the circuitry does appear to be on this unusual chip here. Has liquid gone down there and affected it? It's hard to say. I'm going to maybe take a look at one of our displays and just clean it up and uh, see if that fixes it. But uh, other than if I break this apart, I kind of know it's just going to be a film of, of uh, plastic with a metalized matrix on it to create the, the 128 by 64 pixel display. Uh, that was the basically the model number. Uh, the model number, let's uh, read it, is, is it a, an N? Oh God, I wish I hadn't said that now because I can't read it. NHD-2.7, which I think is the diagonal uh, measurement, dash 12864, which is the size, and then I think it's UCY3, where Y is the colour. And these displays, the only ones we could find as standard were yellow, uh, but uh, they do apparently have white ones now. I thought they'd have been available in a wide range of colours. Um, but um, the ones, well, the ones that were in use were yellow. The ones we found the replacements were yellow, so I guess that kind of resolves that issue. But um, other than that, it just I can see a small inductor, I can see a small switching component, maybe to raise the voltage up, because the, the boards operate at fairly low voltage, I think, uh, and just a few capacitors. It's really just to do with power supply. So um, interesting displays. Uh, uh, may have a wee play about further with them.